Ebo, wow, that's that's a long name. Ebo something. Uh, let's try the Lehen's defense. See what a strong player does against it. It's interesting, Chess Explained just started playing this recently. <laughs> so he just goes for the declined variation. This usually turns into kind of a four knights game. Yeah, there's a four knights. There are other ways to play besides um, e5 in that case, but uh, I don't know them. So the um, this is the um, four knights Spanish, Spanish four knights. There is this uh, tricky move against the Spanish four knights. This, uh, this, uh, I don't know. It's called the Rubenstein variation, but Rubenstein came up with this move and sort of uh, put the four knights out of business with this with this line, I guess. Oh, we just grabbed the pawn. So there's a trick here. I think it is queen to, queen to e7. So let's take the bishop off first. Well, maybe that wasn't the right idea. Yeah, because he's um, he's hitting the um, the c7 pawn. Mm. So yeah, uh, something a mistake in the move order. This will give him time to defend his pawn. Which he does. Okay, let's uh, just kick that knight back. I don't want to be defending, defending the c7 pawn forever. And let's develop a bishop. And let's play for um, activity with the pieces. Let's see if he wants to um, weaken his king side by playing um, pawn to g4. I think that's playable here. I don't think knight g4 works as a sacrifice. So I would just retreat my bishop. Here, yeah, that's good. Let's kick the bishop. Maybe he'll want to trade. I, on the other hand, can play g5, and I will because I want to open things up on the king side. Yeah, he could play there. Hmm. Okay, so once again, he's hitting c7. <laughs> uh, and I need to get the queen somewhere. He's got knight to um, knight d4 if I go there with the queen. I can take his queen, he takes my queen. See, so if I take the bishop, he takes the queen, I take the knight. It's two pieces for the queen. That's not good enough. Okay, if I go here, he plays the knight there. I take the queen, he takes the queen. I take the knight, he takes the bishop. I take the knight. I guess I can play that. So he goes there, hitting hitting my queen and hitting So I think um once again he has to um take the bishop. I don't think he can take the queen. He takes the queen, I take the queen. He can take the rook. I can take the bishop. He can come here hitting my rook. <laughs> well, that's a complicated sequence. Let's see what he decides. Let's see. If he takes a queen, I could just take with a pawn. So we're even here. 
and his queen is hanging. He takes my bishop, I'll take his bishop. Then I thought that was better than the other line. Takes my knight, I take his queen. Yeah, don't I come out of this a piece up? <laughs> well, that's that's an interesting turn of events there. Yeah. Oh no, I gave up my queen. How did that happen? He took my queen. I needed to take his queen. Yeah. Okay. So this is two pieces for the queen. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm, he's going to come harass my king over there, okay. I don't want to give up more pawns. No more pawns, so when he checks me, I want to be able to go to um, c7. Okay, the queen's still in this diagonal, so I can't play knight to e3. So I guess I'll drop back here. Let's move my bishop out of the way and double rooks. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna bring his king out to freedom. Bring his king out to freedom. Okay, well let's um start preparing a queen trap. <laughs> Let's see, it takes a couple moves. Bishop, Bishop uh, e7. I have to keep the rooks on. Bishop e7, pawn to c4, and then rook to uh, rook to a8. So he didn't fall for it. He gave his queen an escape square. Uh, now I, uh, maybe knight to um, knight to uh, d7. If he doesn't do anything about it, knight d7 will lead to a queen trap. <laughs> well, this would be funny. A funny turnabout here. But, uh, well, you have to play with some idea. He gave me the idea by putting his queen over there. Uh, so let's see, it'll be a queen for a rook. So I'll have one rook and two minor pieces against two rooks. So it's still a game, actually, after that. And if we count the pawns, he's already a pawn up. And I think he can win another pawn. Say if he if he plays um, rook to h7, just putting pressure on this pawn, and I attack his queen, there's the trade. And after the trade, he takes his pawn. I don't have time to defend it with bishop to... Uh... Yeah, he spotted that idea. If I, if I try to defend that pawn with bishop to f6, he can push his... Um, E pawn forward, hitting my bishop, and if I take, then his queen can escape out here. Oh, the knight's still on that. Maybe I have time to defend it. <laughs> I'm going to need that pawn. Uh, 
And if he pushes here, I can actually take with the with the bishop. Yeah, so let's grab the queen. Yeah, and let's see if I can win this game. <laughs> going to get a pin. Let's um, unpin that knight. And um, let's see. Well, the question is, do I want to trade or not? The um, There are some targets here, but he can also double. And it'll be a little tricky. Let's see, but if I play my knight here, oh, no, that gives up the bishop. Okay, I think I need to trade. I think I'm a little bit too tied up. I can't quite, quite defend unless... Um, of course, he doesn't have to trade. Maybe he will avoid the trade. No, he goes for that. So what have we got here? I need to uh, get the bishop out of hock. Here, maybe. Okay, so that that leads to an exchange of pawns there. And um, let's push this pawn forward too. Yeah, so probably the best I can hope for is a draw here. But I need to need to make sure I activate my pieces. Yeah, that goes with check. And knight here hits the rook, but his pawns are covered. Well, he'll move the rook and probably attack this pawn. Let's see, yeah, well, my king is tied down defending, defending the knight here. Let's push this pawn forward. Now, where is that knight going? I'm out of squares for the knight, aren't I? Let's push this pawn forward. There we go. Now the knight has a square it can go to. And here it goes there with check, although I don't know what what use what use is that check? Well we'll see. Maybe bishop here. Attacking <clears throat> 
Attacking the pawn, forcing another trade. And uh, let's uh, let's get this get this knight in position to stop that pawn from coming forward. Okay, um, let's go for the skewer. <laughs> He's got a check. But I, I also want to get this bishop on this good diagonal here. So I can coordinate with this attack on the um, f6 square. Okay, I'll drive his king back, and then I'll walk my king over towards his pawn. I, think I, have, I have things kind of set up the way I like. So I'm thinking knight to f6, check. Where can the king even go? Yeah, I could come around to there, huh? Now put the bishop on a more flexible diagonal there. And we'll see how long he wants to uh, try and... Uh, how long he wants to try and play this game on for. Yeah, I guess he could play for a long time. Okay, so he's going to um, try and cause trouble with the check, huh? So I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think he can make progress here. We'll see. Hey, he's gone for the draw. Going for the draw. Okay, well, that was kind of a fun game. Uh, <laughs> so I will, uh, I'll upload that and we will check it out in the postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.